Mercury was NASA's first human spaceflight program. The first seven astronauts were chosen in 1959. The name Mercury came from the Roman god, who was really fast and the patron of travellers. There were six crewed space flights. The first two were suborbital. They go up to space and come straight back down. The other four went into orbit and circled the Earth. The Mercury spacecraft was a small capsule with room for one astronaut. We've got a model of one in our interspace gallery that you can sit in. Each Mercury capsule was given a name by the astronaut on the mission. Alan Shepard was the first American in space on a 15 minute, 28 second suborbital flight. He named his capsule Freedom 7, starting off the tradition of using the number 7 to represent the original number of astronauts. After Shepard's mission, the design of the Mercury capsule was altered to include a larger window at the request of the astronauts. This would come in handy for Gordon Cooper, which I'll talk about later. After Shepard's Freedom 7 came Gus Grissom's Liberty Bell 7, named after the Liberty Bell in Philadelphia, which represents American independence. It's also because the capsule itself is shaped like a bell. They painted a line down the side to replicate the crack in the actual Liberty Bell. John Glenn became the first American to orbit the Earth on his capsule Friendship 7. Apparently, he asked his children before deciding on friendship. Scott Carpenter confirmed the success of Glenn's mission by replicating it. He named his capsule Aurora 7, as he saw Project Mercury as a benefit for all and a light in the sky. Aurora also meaning dawn and the dawn of a new age. Then came more of a focus on long duration missions. Wally Shearer orbited the Earth for 9 hours and 13 minutes. He named his capsule Sigma, Sigma being the engineering symbol of the sum of. This represented his focus to fly an engineering orientated mission. The longest and last manned mission was Gordon Cooper, who orbited the Earth for 34 hours and 19 minutes, completing 22 orbits of the Earth, to study how the body was affected by a day in space. He named his capsule Faith 7 because of his faith in the launch team, the hardware, himself and in God. And it was a good thing he had faith because his mission was hit by a lot of issues. Faith 7 had a power failure. Carbon dioxide levels rose and the temperature soared to 54 degrees Celsius. Gordon Cooper had to take manual control of the capsule and thanks to the larger window, he could see the stars, which he used alongside his wristwatch and communication with the ground to correctly angle the capsule for a safe re-entry. What would you name your own space capsule or mission? And why not try drawing your own mission patch and let us know what you come up with.